Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Johnson reporting ringside. We have Dream Master versus Atomic Titan coming up next. Now, Dream Master is a man who's been with PWF since the beginning. He just comes out, he's kind of like the boogeyman of WWE, only for the PWF. And um, Dream Master is definitely a force to be reckoned with. And it's somebody you should not take lightly. And I think Atomic Titan making his debut tonight is going to find that out here shortly as we wait the arrival of the man himself. And then here he comes, Dream Master. Now, Dream Master started in PCW. He's a man of many faces, a man of many characteristics. But one thing he has always been good at is the mind manipulation that he he portrays. And um, Dream Master is just one of those cats... you do not want to mess with man I wish I had one of those guys here though that could help me commentate about this Dream Master he, he's been through battles with Sarge he's been through battles with James Taylor James Taylor survived it uh, you know thankfully but it's, it's the fact that Dream Master is just one of those guys you cannot put down no matter what the outcome he is always ready as we wait for him to get into the ring now over the past few weeks atomic titan decided to make his debut in pwf and call out anybody on the roster and the first man to respond to him is the man in the ring right now dream master dream master will answer any challenge that is thrown his way answer any challenge that is on the table in pwf and i think atomic titan he's about to leave his familiar territory he's about to leave home base to come to an unfamiliar territory and that's promo wrestling federation as we wait the arrival of atomic titan now here comes the seven time world champion atomic titan Every time he goes to the ring, he says that he's the best. Now, in TBW, which is Tennessee Backyard Wrestling, I can leave a link down in the description below. He might be the best, but one thing he is not is the best in PWF yet. He definitely needs to make a name for himself here, and this is his center stage. This is for him to mold his craft, I think. And uh, if, if I had Josh Ross with me, or Gage Cross, or even Troy Scott, one of those guys from TVW, if they were here to commentate with me, they'd be able to tell you a little bit more about this man, but I can tell you from what I've watched, Atomic Titan does back up what he says, and he doesn't say he's the best for just a catchphrase. I believe he believes in his heart that he is the best, and that's something that a lot of guys need, is that confidence as we get ready for this match. This is going to be a hell of a match. It's going to be very interesting. Dream Master totally... Oh, collar elbow tie up and already in... Oh, and they're knocking into a backbreaker two times. Oh, man, <laughs> three times. Welcome to PWF Atomic Titan. Oh, oh my God. Titan not getting any offense in. Okay, okay, he's got a little bit... He's trying. He can't knock the big man down. He's, he's such a small frame character that uh, Dream Masters is going to probably throw him around like a little rag doll. But don't underestimate Atomic Titan. Now, I will tell you from what I've seen personally, Atomic Titan can definitely hold his own against big match situations. He's always been the center of attention. If anything, he tries to do what he can to steal the show. And if any of his other colleagues from TBW were to ever come to PWF, I feel the same thing would happen with them. Whether it be Gage Flair, um, Ledger, Daniel Cole, it doesn't matter who it is. The Beast. Oh, going for that clothesline. He still has not knocked down Dream Master. He hasn't knocked him off his feet. Oh, Fireman's Carry position, but Titan, fast and quick. Quick and ready. Little combination he's going here. Knocks the big man down and has stunned the shit out of him. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. Titan. 
definitely trying. Irish whip into the ropes. Nice little frog leap. Oh, where are we going? Titan with a reverse elbow, knocking the big man on his ass. And now referee giving Titan the five cap to get off the top turnbuckle. And Titan jumping right over Dream Master. Uh, Titan, like I said, he's he's quick. It doesn't matter. Don't don't underestimate his size and capability. <clears throat> and again, counters Dream Master. Maybe Dream Master is underestimating the 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 veteran skills of TBW's Atomic Titan, who has five years' experience in all of wrestling, backyard wrestling at that. Oh, nice slide. One one count only to keep the Dream Master down. Both men staring at each other on their knees. That was a pretty good shot. Oh my god, if I had Josh Ross here, he would definitely call this a slobber knocker. And maybe even Gage Cross would be definitely talking about this match. But Dave Johnson's here on the scene. And right now, oh, Dream Master welcoming Titan into PWF. But Titan, using his little quirky skills, knocking the big man back down with a vicious elbow to the throat. Oh, man. They were fighting. They've been talking about it for weeks. So Titan laid out the challenge. Dream Master answered the call. And then Titan responded with a definite, I'm going to face you. I don't care who's on the roster. And he dared. He dared and even had the audacity to call the PWF roster a weak roster. Now, I don't know. Maybe that's just uh, the cockiness of Atomic Titan. But he does not know who he's going up against. Now, James Taylor is even in TBW. And even in TBW, these two men have not yet crossed paths. But one day, ladies and gentlemen, we might see Atomic Titan versus the Nemesis James Taylor. We just don't know if it's going to be in PWF. We don't know if it's going to be in TBW. We don't know if it's going to be in both. But right now, Titan doing everything he can to keep Dream Master down. I think that's going to be the only advantage he's got is to keep this man down. Oh, Dream Master. A little counter to the throat. And then Titan using his quirky skills again. Nice roll over DDT. Now, for what it might seem, I don't know the years' experience that Dream Master has because Dream Master is one of those cats that you just don't know nothing about. He disappears and then he just comes back out of the blue. You just don't know where he's been or what he does. So I don't know how much experience he actually has other than what he's had in PCW, PWF. And that's a little over a year and a half. But Titan, on the other hand, at least five years' experience in a ring and he is showing that experience here as he's going for a lateral press on dream master but still only a one count titan can't believe it oh my god oh titan that hard elbow to the kidneys and now he's getting the big man over the top rope oh rolling him over oh he's so small but he's still chopping the chest of dream master five six seven eight nine ten ten hard vicious chops by atomic titan to dream master's chest as he waits for the man to get back in the ring but no titan nice float over crossbody from the top rope to the outside he's throwing his body and just using it as his tool to take down dream master referee up to a two count both men outside of the ring the titan just using the his environment to his advantage I mean, that, that's some pretty smart skills right there. Now he's working on the legs. How else do you knock a, a big redwood down? you got to chop it down. And that's exactly what it looks like Titan is doing, showing some technician skills as he's on the side apron now. He's taunting him. He's, he's begging him to get up. Referee almost to a six count. Gets back into the ring. I think he's going to try and win by a count out. That might be the only way, the only advantage he has to defeat. Oh, wow. Oh, what a... What a, uh, a jump over the top rope into a senton and completely missed uh, Dream Master as Dream Master countered it. And that's definitely going to take the win out of Titan. Now with a vicious uh, stomach into the knee. And now he's working on Titan's hands. Oh, man. Okay, so Dream Master showing some of his skills. Referee had to start the 10 count over as we're almost to four. Four count. Dream Master side rush and leg sweep to the outside right by the steel stairs. Titan nipping up. Getting back in. I guess he's got a second win, folks. Oh, my God. As he's taught the crowd, showing why he is the best in all the wrestling TBW. Jumping off the top rope and missing Dream Master again. Going against the ropes. Going for those kicks. 
showing some of those martial arts skills that he's got. Oh, he's finally knocked the man down. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, running knee. Running knee. Going for the pinfall. I think that was his finisher. And this is it. This has got to be it, folks. This has got Oh, man. My God. Dream Master kicking out two and three quarters of Atomic Titan's finisher. And it was not enough to keep the big man down. Titan going up to the top. He's got five seconds to get out. What is he doing? Oh, a vicious knee to the throat. And now Titan rolling him up. Picking him up. Referee doesn't see it. Referee doesn't see it. Titan with his foot on the ropes. Holding the leverage. Titan just won in his debut match here in Pro Bowl Wrestling Federation. Congratulations. But the referee didn't see it. He was cheating. But that's what to Atomic Titan is. His little arrogant cockiness got him the victory. He used his ring uh, knowledge in order to gain the victory. But what does this mean for PWF? What's going to happen now? Who is next on Atomic Titan's list? Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed the show so far. Let's get ready for the next match. Congratulations, Atomic Titan.